Hello again. I'm just leaving Nottingham where I've been staying for a week doing a course at Nottingham University and I'm heading off to Derbyshire to meet up with uh, Nikki and Mia and Georgina and mum and dad. Um, and we're all camping up there. We're staying on a place called uh, Notlow Farm and mum and dad are staying nearby somewhere I think. So yeah, it should be good. Nice to see Nikki again after a week or so of absence on other trips. So very much looking forward to it and the weather's scorching so uh, should be a good weekend I think. Well, I've arrived at Notlow Farm, slight issue though, the uh, alternator belt has snapped on the way so uh, we came with the uh, battery light on for, for a good half uh, half an hour. Um, yeah, not sure why that is. Uh, the tension seemed right when I put it on. I don't think it's an old belt. Um, yeah, gonna have to try and get a new one from somewhere over the weekend, I suppose. Well, I think I can see what the problem is. This uh, this blade on the on the fan on the old stage is bent out, so it's been clipping the fan belt and must have worn through it and snapped it. I'm surprised I didn't hear that really. Yeah, this belt as well as. Uh, come off this t this uh, roller wheel here none of this seems to move so I'm not sure how we're supposed to get back on I'll try and lever it over with something I think oh it's Saturday morning and um, there's our set up there very nice campsite this um, there's uh, some toilet blocks over there and there's these yurts too that you can come and stay in which look very nice Anyhow, this morning I've got to go and find a new alternator belt. That's the main job. Oh, well, fortunately I found this place, PG Automotive, and uh, I managed to get uh, a new belt for the alternator. Also picked up a 22mm uh, a ring spanner, because that's what the alternator uh, mounting bolt is, and I haven't got one of those with me. And I picked up a, a, a pair of water pump pliers to help me try and bend that alternator fan back into some sort of shape or at least out of the way of the belt. So back to the truck and see if we can carry out the repair. There you go, got the uh, alternator belt back on and I bent that, uh, that's that fan blade back so it doesn't catch on the belt anymore. There you go, a bit clearer from the top, there's a new alternator belt. Um, I have to take all these other belts off um, to get to it, but uh, that's not too difficult. So hopefully soon we'll be back running again. Yeah, there you go. That's uh, all back on again now. Oh, well, that's the truck fixed. So uh, yeah, now we can get on with the rest of the weekend. Oh, well, the others have gone off to meet uh, mum and dad are on a different campsite, but it's not too far away. So. I want to see if I can catch up with them because there's no phone signal here so I can't ring them to tell them I've finished fixing the van. It's already quite hot. Look at the cows. Oh, it's really quite hot out here with the sun beating down. Probably should have brought a drink with me. Um, I hope I don't die out here in the uh, sun bleached deserts of Derbyshire. I think I see a vulture circling overhead actually. And rescued by Nikki in the car. Oh, look, little baby cows. <laughs> Onto the heights of Abraham in the cable car. the Mass and Mine Show Cave and come out the top to the beautiful view and there is Nikki and Georgina 
Ryber Castle. Nice little wooden lawn back. And pink water lilies. It really is fantastic weather today. Um, melting a little bit sitting eating me lunch, but uh, it's definitely nice when you get in the shade of the trees. Go! Here comes Regina down the big slide. <laughs> Got me an ice cream. Hmm. Back at the campsite, I think we might have a bit of a barbecue tonight. I think I've got here these gypsy caravan type lodges, which look very nice. A good barbecue. Now washing it up. Pretty nice facilities here for washing up. Back at the van, there's a Scrabble game going on. Nikki's playing for me, and I'm winning. But uh, I haven't even taken part yet. Uh, it's Sunday morning and I think we're going to go off to the mining museum today after we've had a cup of tea with mum and dad over at their campsite. As you do, the mining museum. The famous water engine. Excellent. Now the Peak Village Shopping Centre looking for a new chair because the other one broke when I sat on it. Two new chairs and a table. We thought it'd be nice to come to Dovedale and have a splash around by the stepping stones, but it looks like everybody else in the world has as well. And we're stuck in a massive queue to get in the car park. Oh, I finally got parked, but uh, now young Mia needs the toilet, and I've got a feeling there's a queue for that as well. That's a shame it's so quiet down here today. You'd think more people would come down here and make the most of it, wouldn't you? There's uh, hardly anybody about. Yeah, look, the place is deserted. Nice to come here for the solitude. Yeah, loads of people on the stepping stones. But... Watch out for the old mine shaft in the middle, Georgina. Do you mean where's the floor? It's at the bottom of the stream. She's nearly made it. <laughs> Go on. Okay. Oh, it's Sunday afternoon, late Sunday afternoon, 
and we're back at the campsite and everyone has cleared out. I guess that's the thing about campsites on a Sunday evening. You're often the uh, last people staying there. I think there's a couple of people camping in the other field, but other than that, I think we're pretty much it. But uh, it's been a very good campsite. The toilet's very clean and the showers are nice. Um, it's a nice farm. I think they, you think you have uh, croissants and stuff from them in the morning. We haven't done that because we've had plenty of stuff in the van, but uh, I believe you can. Um, there's some nice uh, walks around. We're just off the Limestone Way, although again, we haven't been on it this weekend. We're going to go and have dinner at the Bull's Head in Moniash, and then later on, I might walk up the trail a little way and see if I can find not low mine shafts. Well, we had a nice meal at the pub and we've walked up onto the not low mine site and we've had a little look down the engine shaft. Very impressive. There we go, not low mines. Um, and now that we can go back to the van and go to bed. <coughs> yeah, it's Monday morning. Um, I'm now heading home. Unfortunately, little Mia was a bit unwell in the night, so Nikki and Georgina have taken her straight back, uh, leaving me to pack up and then uh, head off myself. So I guess other than the uh, long drive home, that brings the last few days trip to a bit of a close. Oh well, see you next time. Well, that's all for now. If you enjoyed it, press like, subscribe if you want to see some more, and ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new.